my account or home. I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. At Massey Services, we know that no two lawns are the same. That's why we create a customized lawn care plan for whatever your landscape looks like. From season to season, our personalized treatments keep your lawn healthy and beautiful all year long. Personalized, because it is personal. We take as much pride in your lawn as you do. Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to the Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Friday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day. And we do have a good program for you today. We'll get you caught up on what's happening out in the world. That will do that around 320 with Woke News. 345 at Sinker Sale, our very own Jack Bradshaw. Plus, we'll do Embers Only from our friends over at Corona Cigar. 4 o'clock hour, primetime kitchen with our buddy Fiaz Carr. We'll go over a bunch of things. Plus, we'll kidnap him yet again. <laughs> 5 o'clock hour, it's rich tips and trivia. More tickets for Orlando City and Stone Temple Pilots. We'll end it up with your calls, text, and you heard it here first. Welcome to the program. I am Jim. To my left, my very lovely and dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Hello there. And straight ahead, producer Jack Bradshaw. Good afternoon. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Find us easily on social, Instagram and Facebook at The Jim Colbert Show on Twitter. Just add Jim Colbert Show and all day, every day at jimcobertlive.com. That's where you can watch us on YouTube. Click right through, check us out, and give us a like and subscribe while you're there. We appreciate that greatly. How are you guys doing today on this Friday? Uh, great until about 2.45. What happened at 2.45? <laughs> oh, then we found out something we should have known a couple hours earlier. And ended. Now, now, that email came through yesterday. Did it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, saying that there were going to be a lot of those today. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're on it. Well, okay. Gotta check your email, Bradshaw. I will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big problem with you, but I've, yeah. I've, I've talked to management hey, about it. The yeah. price to pay for a good time, right, yeah. Jack? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing a little search right now. All right, 407. <laughs> <laughs> I'll afford it to you if you like. Here we go. Here we go. 407 uh, uh, So today is Good Friday. Yes, it is. Um, and our, I know it's one of those days uh, when I pull into the building, um, and I know it's not one of those days, like a Thanksgiving, Christmas kind of thing. It's one of those 
uh, holidays that um, not slides under the radar, but isn't as prevalent uh, as some of the other holidays? Well, I, I think part of the reason is because even though it's called Good Friday, it, it is, you the, know. The I worst mean, kind of Friday. It exa- exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's a sad day. Yeah, because, I mean, today, if you do not know, was um, is supposed to represent the day that Jesus was crucified, right? Yep, hung on the cross right. at noon, died at 3. Right, and then, and then rises on Sunday for Easter, the whole idea of three days, right? Yeah, the most important days of Christianity. Supposed to be. Yep. That's for sure. Um, and we used to take this day off. And is it, all, is it for all? Because here's the thing. I know that cat don't you Catholics? I I, I say you guys oh, because man. and I know we love it, Jimmy. <laughs> well, absolutely adore you for it. With Catholics, you, uh, there's a tenant you can't eat meat today, right? right? Is that the thing? Yep, it's the you. Well, all during Lent between Ash Wednesday and Easter on Fridays, you're not you're supposed to abstain from eating meat. Right, meat, but fish count. Right, our fish no, is fine. Our shellfish is fine. Fish. Right, right, you right. Remember, I mean, Jesus, of course, was the fisher of men. Yes. And Jack and I were good today because, um, yeah, we went to the cafe and neither of us had anything meat. Okay. And, Deb, I got lucky on that one. I gotta be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what were they out of that you were supposed yeah. to get? Uh, it was about uh, ninety seconds ago when I learned it was Good Friday. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly right. So uh, a lot of people, a lot of people's. I don't know if they're celebrating, but they're damn sure taking the day off today. Well, for it, a lot of people, you know, church services are important today. Oh, really? Uh, for some, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it just about Catholics that do to do the church thing today, or is it all Christians? I don't know. See, I always it's just for me. Okay, this is just for me, and I don't know if people out there listening. You're welcome to chime in four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. But you're starting to sound like a sinner. But the thing is, thank I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> I started that around three. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I grew up one of the, you know I grew up in a very strict Christian household, right, in a Pentecostal household, uh, also sometimes referred to as a holiness household in my family you know the women did not wear dresses and things of that nature no they did wear dresses right no oh, they pants. Did, they did wear dresses no pants you're yeah. correct and we were always kind of taught that good friday was like a catholic thing that christian christians like is that protestant christians really did not celebrate good friday really we acknowledged it but it wasn't like a well, there, there were no other outside steps taken to to quote in quotation celebrate it. no no there were no there were no celebrations in the Catholic Church. It's it's a day of recognizing, you know, the greatest sacrifice ever made. Now, is that outside of the not eating meat thing? Is there uh, are there other things you're supposed to do today? Yeah, well, um, today like on the I Ash don't Wednesday, know. there's the cross of the the, the uh, ashes and whatnot. Uh, well, and that can be from palm fronds that they'll that they'll burn. Um, but is there from- a tradition like that for Good Friday? Is what I'm saying, where you where you do something of that nature? No, other than just maybe going to mass and recognizing, you know, that it's. It's a, it's a good day because of the promise fulfilled, and it's a bad day because of what had, right. the price that had to be paid. But I know it's a good day for the people in the building because there's no one here, and the <laughs> weather's perfect. I know. So, well, uh, well, how is today different than any other day in this building? It's not any. Well, well no, 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 extra, I mean, it's pretty it's empty, empty out there, buddy. Out there, it's yeah. pretty, I found a parking space, no problem. My favorite parking space is I think everybody who works oh. in a building has a favorite parking space. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you park in the same spot every time. Spot, she I parked do. in the same thing every yeah. time. Sauce Daddy parked in the same spot every time. Yeah. So the uh, I would say so. It's funny when you say this building. I always think of it as our offices on this building. Right. But uh, for the building as a whole, because there's other businesses on the building. We have the top floor. Yeah. But they are out. Yeah. 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 You know. Oh, so yeah. that's what. So when you bring it to the parking lot, that's the entire. <laughs> They're gone, baby. The entire building. Yeah. It's pretty thin. I yeah, did yeah. notice that when I pulled now, in today. I was going to ask you as a manager because I know that we do this with some. Uh, holidays throughout the day, President's Day, and things of that nature. Is is today one of those days that you can take off and not get penalized for it, or or you can use this day as a bonus day elsewhere if you decide to work from you? Is is that a thing? No. No, you have to. You're supposed to work today. Yeah. In the past, we, in in our business, in this company, we have had Good Friday off. Then they gave it to us as a floater, which means you can decide. You decide when you want to use it. Right, right, right. Easy dad with the floater. Right, yeah. (laughs) You can decide. You can decide whether or not you're a heretic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks to the smartest audience in talk radio, <laughs> yeah, we do have this. Sp- Thank you, guys. We appreciate. Yeah, it. I know. Seriously, because they are our AI. By they, the way, they are absolutely, and uh, they wait in at seven seven zero three one to uh, remind me 
that uh, today Catholics would do what you call the Stations of the Cross. Okay. And those are those plaques. If you ever go into a Catholic church of any kind, you're going to notice either statuary or paintings right. that will represent different moments in Jesus's life and and death. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so um, that's kind of like the rosary. So you would go around the church under each station. And you, you say a prayer or something? You say a prayer. You would recognize what that part was in, in Christ's life leading up to the crucifixion. Wow, really? Yeah. Man, I'd so never heard a, of that one. Oh, the Stations of the Cross? Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, yeah. I, I've well, not heard of that one. Here's the deal. It is a Catholic thing. Yeah. I grew up Catholic. Yeah. I've never had to. Never, I've never did that. Did the stations? Never stopped. Never learned never. about it. I really. Kinda, oh I, wait, yeah. I picked up on it. You know, I, we we had Sunday school. I didn't go to a Catholic school. Gotcha. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, a Catholic school. And that, it was an hour a week. It's like this mm, is it. Yeah. This Texas. is Noah. Here's the yard. Oh yeah. Right? I mean, Catholic school. We did Stations of the Cross. Yeah. We would take buses to the bigger cathedral really? for, for days that we would do confession. Oh, I am. That's did. why. Deb's the expert on it. Did not know I'm that. Really not. I, I just have, uh, you know, uh, an experience with it. <laughs> Somebody just texted and said that the Christians do, or their church is doing, like a an evening service yeah, on Good Friday. Yeah, and they also said a, it is a large Southern Baptist church here in Central Florida that has a Good Friday evening service. Oh, yeah. So I think what may have happened is... Uh, Maybe growing up, your family had associated the word good with the idea that we celebrate, when yeah. when really good just means uh, promise fulfilled, yeah, yeah, yeah. but a I'm terrible also, price. I'm also trying to remember something from when I was like seven through a whole bunch of Jaeger, <laughs> um, and that is having a difficult time weaving its way through the gumminess of the alcoholism uh, as I was younger. But uh, yes, yeah, so fasting is a thing here as well. Yeah. Um, it's also a day of planting your garden. Have you heard of that one? I, I have not. I don't know. Is that supposed to be like a, you, you plan it on Good Friday as a, you know, going to the resurrection as a birth, a rebirth type thing? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't even know. Maybe it's because there's, let me see what the phase of the moon is at right now. Oh, come on now. It's just after what? full. It? it was full a couple days ago, right? Right, Yeah, exactly. it was pretty bright. Yeah, exactly. I remember that. Does that mean it's waning? Wait, waxing is building up, waning is going down? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waxing's coming up, waning's going away. Yep. There you go. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. I'm going to tell you a little story. It's a little sad, but it's. Oh, but it is a quick question I have to ask. Have we had enough? I, I told you the story. God. Yeah, really. Please. <laughs> Come on. Please. I can't even go on social anymore. Oh. I can't. I can't even go on Facebook right now. Yeah. It's gonna be a month before I can go back on Facebook because yeah. I, I just can't. I made the mistake. Yeah, I can't. I, I avoided it, it until last night. It's, it's. I went on last night. And I go. You know what? That's yeah. not the place for me right now. Yeah, just not. Yeah, yeah. I don't need that yet. Well, yeah. what? I I talked to him last night for almost three hours. Good for you. How Loved was it? every minute yeah, of it. Yeah, that's so good. Loved every minute talk, of it. I talked to him about an hour and a half the other night as well. I know Jack talked to him this weekend as well. Yeah, we were like two girls on the phone last <laughs> night for two hours and 42 minutes. That bad boy he's didn't a, start till 8.30. He's a chatter. He is, <laughs> oh, that, oh, he cried. Sauce, I cried. Sauce is a chatter. I mean... <laughs> We professed our love, yeah. our everlasting yeah, we, devotion. We love okay, it. That's, we now do. it's getting weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's getting weird. And right. keeping it in style for sauce. Is he <laughs> under there? Is he a You got potty him in your backpack or something. If I could, I would, man. All right, so I told you the story about the deer in my neighborhood. Remember that I told you that? Yeah, that terrible story. But, uh, I had no idea that happened. Okay, so I want to ask a quick question. I have no I, idea I, what you're talking oh, about. Oh, 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 take that. <laughs> you want a comedy? Boom, bringing it. What cruise ship are we on? <laughs> <laughs> is this a carnival? Is this one of the smaller carnival boats we're on? Is that what's happening? Buddy, oh, he man, gets that sink or sail you. thing just yeah, going yeah. right you, you, here. You head. talk about like uh, the dirty Friday shows later, the weekends right? in the wind. Court him to his uh, chair, actually, because yeah, yeah. that week. I, but I feel that it's just been, I mean, my God, two weeks in one, right? This, yeah. is, this has felt like two yeah, weeks yeah. in one. So anyway, my dear story. Oh, um, yeah. I, I, I want to ask a quick question, and we can talk about people. Can uh, here's what I want. All right, people, you guys can either leave talkbacks for this, or text me this, or whatever. By the way, you can leave a talkback easily. Get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that microphone. You hear them all the time. We play them before we come back from breaks. Um, so, Jack, you don't know this story. In I my, do not. In my pond for the last, well, since we've moved there, yeah. uh, there have been a couple of sandhill cranes. You know, they mate for life, right? And they usually set up shop somewhere in a marshy kind of area, much exactly like my back 
pond is, which is basically a muck pond, right? Yeah. So they've been doing that for years, and we've named them in the whole nine yards, Walt and Gertie. <laughs> All right. So Walt and Gertie have taken a shot at at uh, parenthood now uh, four times since we've been there. One of their offspring made it to adulthood. The others did not have the best of luck. They just had a baby Monday, Sunday, I believe it hatched. We saw them walking around the pond with it. Now we've watched this before. Oh, this is terrible. Jack. All right. So it, oh no, wait, wait, stop, wait, stop, it's, stop. It's gonna be bad. They're, it sounds like an awesome story. They're up. They're in the backyard of a neighbor, which is a little bit away. We have binoculars, right? So we watch. We watching them around because we're getting we're, creepy. We're invested, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. You can't see the house. You can only see the backyard. We've tried. Uh, um, so <laughs> I would. We're out there, and they're walking around with this this little baby crane thing. And my wife, I'm in the studio, and my wife goes, "Jimmy, I think these, this deer just stomped this crane, <gasps> this baby." And I'm like, there's no way that happened. Like, deer are the most passive, you know, nice, timid animals you could ever possibly encounter, right? Oh, yeah. So I run out there. Sure enough, I grab the binoculars, and it turns out that a deer did stomp this baby crane out, and it it did not make it. And it had a fawn with it, and it was sitting there. They were kind of hovering out of it. We were trying to yell at the damn deer uh, to get away from it, you know, hopefully, uh, hoping maybe it just maybe... Uh, injured the crane a little bit or maybe knocked it out so the thing could get up and go waddle back and find mom and dad. That did not happen. And at that point is when I started hating deer. And now I hate deer. Who are, who are, What is the biggest a-hole animal? What is the biggest a-hole animal? That is that was such an a-hole movement. It finds out oh. turns out turns out there this is common for deer, by the way. The ba- the worst they, animal? They stomp out small animals like this all the time. That would be human beings. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. I mean, come on, I mean. <laughs> but I mean in the animal world. I mean, I look, man, I know that a lot of animal raccoons probably are the kings of a-holes when it comes to animals. I'm not but, gonna but, go there. But deer have just sh- flipped a switch for your boy. So when deer season comes, I'll be cheering. I'll be high fiving every guy out la, there with a rifle. La, 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 la. Sons of bitches! I didn't realize they were so terrible. Oh, they're awful. Anyway, all right. Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Text us at seven seven zero three one news. Yeah, the largest crane on the East Coast has arrived at the bridge collapse scene. Regina Hill reacts to her <laughs> allegations. And speaking of news. Whoa. And speaking of news from the animal world, Jimmy. Yes. Puxatawney Phil. Okay. Becomes a dad. Really? Oh. Yeah. We'll talk about that and more coming up next during Woke News. Puxatawney filling it up. <laughs> yeah. Right, 407-916-1041. Sec with Deb's news and more of the Jim Park Show. Dear sub. You crazy. Something on your mind? Text us at 7031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange GMC at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. At heavy traffic on I-4 today in the Orlando area, both east and westbound on the interstate by the major attractions exits. Looking at a serious crash that has closed on north and southbound lanes on Pine Hills Road between Colonial Drive and Silver Star. Looking at a crash blocking two southbound lanes on the turnpike between Oslo Parkway and 192 causing stop-and-go delays back from the Greenway exit. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoke irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones. Dining only a bar. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here. If you ask anyone who has experienced LASIK surgery, they're going to tell you one thing. It is by far the best thing they've ever done. And more than often, they're going to add on that they should have done it way sooner. That's exactly what my father-in-law said. And I am not joking. This happened like four years ago, five years ago. The surgery came out. Like, what am, What did I do for? Like, this is a whole new world out there. If you deal with eye issues, with sight issues, blurry vision, there's no reason not to take advantage of this right here. The Filatoski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Find out what these guys can do for you if you suffer with terrible vision. There's no reason not to. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to 
bridging with the Philatos CI Institute. These guys have over 65,000 LASIK procedures under their belt, all the experience you need, and the state-of-the-art tech you want as well. Finances, they have you there as well. 24-month interest-free financing is available. Just do this. Text 1041 866 and schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Philatos CI Institute. Your path to better vision begins now. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. Listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otensla of Herbalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards. A celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. I don't even have a cat. Five. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen, Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you can help now. A help operator to guide you, qualified electrician to diagnose and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. It's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. At International Diamond Center, their diamonds don't just sparkle. They come to life. If the diamond doesn't smile at you, don't buy it. The diamond's got to talk to you. IDC owner Keith LeClaire says the reason his diamonds have this magical quality is because every diamond at IDC has passed through the highest possible quality control standards and chosen for maximum beauty. There's no scintillation. There's no obstruction. In that diamond. There's no internal green. There's no clouds. An IDC diamond is better because, pure and simple, we put the time, the effort of selecting only the best. Every diamond is going to be handpicked by us. We're looking for nothing but the top, top, top percent. So there's never any cutting corners, no compromising, no settling for an okay diamond. Let's be critical. Let's pick the best and deliver the best we can. We do all the hard work in the beginning. Is that diamond you're about to buy just okay? Or does it speak to you? Come to IDC and listen before you. You buy. Anybody that sees it on her hand, they're going to be on. Where'd you get that diamond? International Diamond Center. Four Orlando locations. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 gift card alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one fall to take back control of your life. Anna Jar Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In office Orlando. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. 
9840 International Drive, featuring mixed culinary arts. Harry's Pool.com slash Harry's Saver. On the Apple in store or let go run on Duncan. Real Radio is on Reds at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. Welcome to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, Text us at 77431. Congrats on the monsters. They sold out the brew bus in about four seconds. I, know, is that amazing? Jeez, I, don't, know, I, I don't think the phones were plugged in yet. In but, that an exaggeration. I think it was two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we still have a few tickets left. I oh, mean, just wow. a few. I got a text last night from Adrian. Over at uh, Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill at the Rosen Center. And she said, we have, I think, about, let me double check here. I think we have 13 tickets left uh, wow. for our event coming up. Wow. Sip and Saver. Yeah, for, for, uh, Sip and Saver at the uh, Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, April 6th. If you have yet to get your ticket, $70. It is six dishes paired up with beers from Hidden Springs. It's going to be an amazing evening. If you miss it, you're going to be pissed because then you're going to read about how much fun we had and you were not part of it. So, again, it's harryspoolside.com. Grab your tickets now. Wonderful date night. Hope to see you there for sure. 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack is right over there, and Deb has some news. I do. And now, you do. Whether you like it or not, you do. for Woke News. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. All right, fine. Give me them newses. Woke News <laughs> brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Give him a listen tomorrow morning when he's host of the Home Loans Radio Show. Crews are preparing to use the largest crane. I believe it's called the Chesapeake 1000 on the East Coast. No, literally. That sounds like something Saturday Night Live made Literally up. on the East Coast to help clear tons of debris oh, yeah. from the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Officials say the initial focus will be on clearing the bow of the ship that smashed into the Francis, uh, Francis, Francis Scott Key Bridge earlier yeah. this week. Go ahead, do it, Jack. Oh, yeah, there Thank you, you. go. Thank you. Uh, the debris, uh, not only is it 95,000 tons, I had made a mistake earlier this week and said pounds, but yeah. 95,000 tons, but the weight of the bridge has pushed the bow of the uh, ship right into the bottom of the of the river. Right. Big that regardless. N- nothing. And right. not only that, the debris has also been hindering efforts of search crews searching for the four construction workers who remain missing and are presumed dead. The search for their bodies has been paused due to the dangers created by the debris. They they said that uh, underwater detection, they found another large vehicle, but it's literally right. surrounded by concrete, rebar, and right. this twisted metal. Another large crane is expected to arrive on Saturday. From what I heard earlier today, a total of three of these cranes are being sent by the U.S. Navy. How much do you think the Chesapeake 1000 can carry in one load? It can. How much it can lift? How much it can lift? Oh God, I'll go uh, twenty tons, forty. I'll go. I'll go thirty, forty thousand pounds. Okay. F- do you mean What's very that tons? tons? Twenty yeah. tons. So yeah, twenty tons. You're Ooh. oh. 10 tons. Two tons. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Two tons per load. Per load. Yeah, that, that doesn't that's sound like a lot. Like, no, it sounds four, like a hell of a lot. 4,000 pounds? <laughs> so it just picks up one car at a time? Okay. I mean, two tons is a car. That's yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just picking up that big-ass crane's only picking up one car at a time? Well, what they're going to have to do is because the, the section of bridge that's draped over the bow of the ship is about nine tons. Oh, God. So they're going to have to figure out, first, where do you cut the steel? Dude, I'm going to so tell you. So that you don't damage the ship or, you know, create more concern under the water. So first... They have to figure out where they cut. Then they have to cut. Then they can lift it off the man, bow. I will tell you, and, and our guys that listen that weld and deal with that stuff, oh, I, I bet money when they saw that thing, a lot of these guys who do that for a living would tell you the probably the most dangerous part of this entire job are the people who are going to cut those beams apart. Really? Because you don't know how much tension's on them. Like, you don't know how much tension or tensile strength is on those things. They're draped across the ship's bow or any of that. I so, never even thought so of that. So as they hook that crane up and they have to sever those beams, out in sections it's like when you're cutting a tree you know when you cut that beam that beam is holding tension either weight where it's dangling into the water or whatever that's going to be the most dangerous job if we open that up to the texting service they would tell you the same thing well hell that's gonna be yeah. treacherous dude yeah that are your talkbacks we'd love to hear your yeah. experience 
that they're going to be looking at when they uh, try to clear yeah, this debris. My uncle does this stuff for a living. He builds ships for a living, and he'll tell you straight up that it is some of the most dangerous work you can be a part of. None of this is going to be easy. That's why their transportation secretary, uh, Mayor Pete, and their governor said it's a, it's a long road. Don't think that we're going to clear this thing out in a few weeks. This is a, this is a thing. And because of that bridge collapse in Baltimore having at least a temporary p- uh, impact on the port in Jacksonville. Right. Because on Sunday, Jacksport is set to receive a shipment of 1,600 vehicles that had been bound for Baltimore. Uh, wreckage of the Francis Scott Keep Bridge has blocked shipping access to the port of Baltimore, the ninth busiest port in the country, uh, the second largest for coal, for uh, farm equipment, foreign vehicles, raw sugar. Right. Um, and again, the top automotive port in the U.S. is yep. there in Baltimore. Yep. All right, closer to home, Regina Hill finds herself... <laughs> and what she calls Buddy. an unfortunate circumstance. Yeah, it is going to be really unfortunate. How old is she, by the way? The Orlando City Commissioner responded yesterday to allegations she scammed a 96-year-old constituent out of her house and money. The District 5 Democrat pled not guilty to seven felony charges that include exploitation of the elderly. He'll tell Spectrum, th- uh, Spectrum News 13... It's unfortunate she's been thrust into these circumstances with these allegations. Right, yeah, yeah. She says it's unfortunate not just for her, but also for the alleged victim whom she has loved and cared for like her own family. Sure thing. Hill adds she Ouch. awaits her day in court, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't want to be in her hubris? family. Change my last name immediately. Hill <laughs> adds she awaits her day in court to prove her innocence. Now, if convicted on all charges, the 58-year-old could get how many years in prison? Eight felonies, even at third. Seven de- felonies. Seven felonies, even the minimum, I think, is five years, three to five. So she's looking at a maximum of 35 years, probably a minimum of, of 18, 15 to 18. That seems good. Uh, my copy says 180. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> there must be bigger than third degree felonies then. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, uh, also, remember, elderly yeah. crime oh, yeah. uh, yeah. has a, a stiffer penalty. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A higher yeah. threshold. A hearing is set for April 5th. Now, and this, of course, if you've lived in Central Florida for any length of time, you're not surprised because this isn't the first time Regina Hill has been in trouble with the law. Her criminal history dates back to 2000 when she was convicted of disorderly intoxication. Five years later, she was arrested for marijuana possession and given six months probation. I'm starting to like her more now. News 6 reports that, again, this is News 6, reports the 58-year-old Democrat has multiple arrests for illegal substance possession but many of those charges were dropped. Yeah, yeah. So for those who live in her district or live in the city of Orlando, we're wondering, okay, well, what, I mean, fire her, right? I mean, what are you, you going to do? It doesn't work like that with a No, it doesn't. The city of Orlando appears to be limited in what it can do to Hill. A spokeswoman for Mayor Buddy Dyer says the city can't even suspend her. Only the governor can yeah, do that. Yeah, I was going to say, but, he, he has no problem replacing but, people. Yeah, no, but the, exactly. And he's already said this, by the way. The only reason he said, I believe two days ago, that he hasn't made a move yet because there hadn't been an arrest. Right. Yeah. So after yeah. an arrest, I believe he can make a move or yes. at least a suspension until her until her trial's over, and then they can kind of reconsider what's going to happen to her after that. I believe he does have the power to do that. I'd have to support that move. Yeah, I would as well. The spokeswoman tells the Orlando Sentinel if Hill does get suspended, a special election will be called yep. to fill her seat on a temporary basis until the next election. Absolutely. All right. A newly discovered document in the Sean Diddy Combs case is described as terrifying. That's what legal analyst Gavin Tudor Elliott says about a non-disclosure agreement that came to light on Wednesday. Okay. The NDA is connected to a lawsuit filed last month against Diddy by music producer Rodney Jones. Jones says he was asked to sign the NDA two years ago after a uh, shooting at a recording studio in Broward County. Jones says a man was shot while in a restroom with Diddy and Diddy's son, Justin. Jones says he did not sign the NDA, but others at the Hollywood recording studio did. Elliot analyzed the NDA, and he calls it the broadest he has ever seen. Really? He says it's intentionally ambiguous and he would never let a client sign it. Elliot tells the Miami Herald it's designed and intended to create a culture of silence and fear and intimidation. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, if I was doing that stuff. I mean, he apparently also they uh, said today that every house or excuse me, every room in this Miami thing on Star Island had a secret camera in it. 
And see, and that's why they went in and rushed those homes because they took the surveillance stuff. They, by the yeah, way. because a, a lot of the people talked about the fact that I mean, you could see it on camera. Oh God Almighty! It's just like R. Kelly, right? Oh, Didn't God. his handlers for years tell him that that camcorder it, that he used to use in film <laughs> was old, one day going to come back and the, bite him in the ass? There's a piece of there's a piece of audio of some old man that used to roll with him all the time, his uncle or something <laughs> like that. He's basically like, man, that camera going to get you. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. That I camera mean, gonna get you. The great Mae West said, keep a diary, and someday it may keep you. You're right. <laughs> so it's the same thing. All right, a Central Florida amusement park is planning an expansion. Icon Park submitted a proposal to Orange County leaders earlier this week. Isn't this the area, Jimmy, where Harry's uh, Bar and Poolside Grill is in this area. The, the, uh, that's a little a, further down. Yeah, it's but across it? the street to a yeah, little further down. I drive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the company wants to build a more than 400-seat entertainment venue, okay. two hotels, okay. and retail space over the next few years. I don't know where they're going to find that property, but the Orlando Sentinel reports the project hints at the removal of the Orlando Slingshot. Of course, the right operator recently settled a wrongful death lawsuit with the family of Tyree Sampson, who fell to his death at the park on the on another attraction in 2022. That ride was torn down last year. And, of course, the the lawsuit against the ride uh, or the manufacturer just starts, like I, I believe, in January. Yeah, yeah. All right, tickets for the Electric Daisy Carnival. I'm sure you already have yours, Jimmy. EDC. I do, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In Central Florida are on sale. EDC Orlando Wise Owl Passes right, went yeah. live at noon today. Prices start around $200 for a three-day general admission pass. Mm -hmm. Hundreds mm -hmm. of thousands of people are expected to attend the annual Dance Music Festival at Tinker Field between November 8th to November 10th. The lineup is set to come out this summer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, it's going to be a bunch of DJs I've never heard of. But right. I, <laughs> this, I would go there and roll my balls off, Jack. I this love it. is the one event <laughs> where mean, I wish 30 years ago it yeah. was there because this <laughs> oh, yeah, is the one event, event. I, I'm sorry I missed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was at that first, the first two Lollapaloozas, uh -huh. but I really would, I'd trade one of those to be at yeah. this See, I still 30 years ago. This. Look, yeah. yeah, look for me. I'll be the old dude in, night, in a neon diaper in front of the portalette perpetually. <laughs> I will just come out and just go to the end of the line in the portalette and just wait. Yeah. I, we should do it as a show, right? <laughs> my, my daughters and my son love these things. They used to go to them all the time. I'd snag them tickets, and they'd go all the time. Right. And they love it. And I cannot look at any of the pictures because the, the clothes they would wear, I'm like, come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, mighty. Yeah. Come it, on. It's wild. Get out of here. It is. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, if you've got family in town, of course, it is, like Jimmy said earlier, going to be an absolutely beautiful weekend. If you are going to be heading out to the beach, just be aware uh, that Florida beachgoers and your visitors need to take extra caution over the next few days. The National Weather Service says a high risk of rip currents will impact the state's east coast from Miami-Dade County all the way north to Volusia County, home of Daytona Beach, through at least this evening. Beaches around Tampa Bay will also notice the effects, which you generally do not hear mm. with those Gulf Coast beaches. Swimmers are urged to stay in front of a lifeguard during this time. Forecasters say the elevated conditions are expected to linger through the holiday Easter weekend. I think people don't understand the nature of those things. No. And even if you get in knee high water, it can sweep you off your feet. And I think people believe, hey, look, most of my body's out of the water. I'll be fine. But when it, see when it sweeps you off your feet, next thing you know, you're in water where you can't control your own weight and, and it's pulling against you. It's so, it happened so easy and so fast. And it, it actually took the life of a Floridian. I believe yeah. a man from up in Jacksonville, he and his wife were in um, like calf deep water, ankle deep water, and got knocked down by a wave. Boom. Next thing you know, taken out to sea. Yep. And that's someone who I, you know, oh, I've lived by the beach my whole life. Right, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Then you start panicking, and that's the worst thing you can possibly it, it do. It is. It is. All right. An African elephant once owned by late pop star Michael Jackson is recovering. Okay. After complex dental surgery. Really? Yeah. yeah. The Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. The zoo says 30. 30 large mammal experts from around the world were brought in to remove the remaining portion of Ali's right tusk, which had become infected. Wow. The tusk was successfully removed after a three and a half hour procedure. I don't know why, but one of my favorite Fleetwood Mac songs ever. Oh, yeah. Tusk, tusk. is a great yeah. I love Tusk. I just, yeah. I mean, sorry. Uh, the 34 Here's the deal. I have no idea if that song has anything to do with elephants. I don't know, it but doesn't, that's but funny. That, that's what, that's the, the tangent you just went it, on. It was. I just went, man, I love that song. Yeah. Well, that I band, haven't heard that in forever. But, I mean, that band was infected for years. <laughs> <laughs>
Trust me. Uh, I'm really inf- and injected. <laughs> the 34-year-old Ali lived at Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch in California before being donated mm-hmm. to the Jacksonville Zoo. And then finally, Puxatawney Phil may not have much time on his hands to predict the future of early springs or more winter because he's just become a father. Oh, that's so sweet. The Groundhog Club. All right. Says Phil and Phyllis have wow. given birth to two healthy babies. Well, you can't get anything past those people in Pennsylvania, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the bastion of creativity up there when it comes to names? Jesus, guys, a little effort would be great. What you guys think about that for a total of four seconds before you started throwing batteries at people? <laughs> God. The babies are with their parents at the zoo inside the Puxatawney Memorial Library. Interesting place for groundhogs to have to live, <laughs> what's, isn't it? What's wrong with those people? <laughs> it finally got to him, Deb. It finally, Kensington it, finally yeah, got to there him. There you go. It's done. Dunzo. The names of the new, uh, new babies have not been announced, but have no fear. As soon as we learn them, we will let you know. Mm-hmm. And now you are officially woke. Thank you so much. 407 <laughs> Take a little break. Sinker sales next. But Embers only. We'll do that right after this. Get ready to text your vote for sink or sail. Coming up next on the Jim Colbert Show. This weather report is brought to you by Mills. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for the start of the weekend, we're looking at a beautiful stretch of weather. Temperatures today warming into the mid and upper 70s under sunny skies. Those sunny skies and pleasant temperatures will continue into the weekend, although temperatures will be climbing into the low 80s for highs for our Saturday, mid 80s for highs for our Easter Sunday. As we head to Monday and Tuesday, though, temperatures warm into the upper 80s. This 